Annual planning is so important to any business, but what's more important than that is having a space where your team can actually go to see what's going on, when, and what is required from them. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build a master calendar inside of Asana. Let's go. Welcome to Asana Solutions. My name is Marquis, and you have landed on the number one channel on YouTube for all things related to Asana, process improvement, and project management. And at Ditto, we work with a lot of teams, specifically in the marketing, advertising, publishing space. And a lot of times there are different teams from design and creative to the social media team, to the paid ads team, to the outreach team, to you name it. Teams need to work together. And one of the things that a lot of our customers struggle with is how to create a, a one-stop shop calendar inside of Asana that brings together all of the different projects that all the teams are working on. And so today I'm gonna to show you exactly what that looks like so you and your teams can get more organized and have a single source of truth for where to go when it comes to events, calendars, and all your deliverables. Let's jump in. So let's just start here. I wanna show you what our marketing team looks like. So if you don't wanna watch this whole video, you can just look at this, get a quick overview, and then go do it yourself. But um, with all of our marketing assets, we have this master calendar, and then we have our blog schedule, email schedule, podcast schedule, YouTube schedule, design requests, and so on and so on on our editorial schedule. Now, how these all work is that any task within these, um, there are some rules created. So this one is the first um, section in our project that has a rule. Um, and so any task that's added to this project, we'll move it to the on deck section. And this is the important part here. We're going to set that channel to podcast because this is a podcast. If this was a blog, then we're going to set the channel to blog. If this was a YouTube video, we're going to set the channel to YouTube, email, so on and so on. And then what needs to happen is in this case, we're going to add it to an additional project. So we're multi-homing it now to our mastering calendar, mastering, no, marketing calendar um, into our podcast section. Okay, so that's what the rules look like here. So as you can see, it lives in the podcast schedule under on deck, but then it also lives in the marketing calendar. And so if we go to marketing calendar, this is our view. So we can see exactly what is a webinar, what is social, what is a podcast, um, what is a blog that's going out. You can see what emails are going out. And so we can track all of our activity across all of these different things. And we can see you know, what's going out and when. So if I go to my today view, I can see, all right, today's Monday the 30th. I can see that these three posts are going out. I don't have to go and look at the social schedule. I can see it right exactly here. And I can see what content is going out, what stage it's in, what um, approvals may be needed, and so on and so on. And we can see it for the rest of the week. So that's how everything works at a high level. And in the list view, this is what I've done. We've created, let me just close this one up. <clears throat> We've created one um, for social, where all of our social posts will go. We've created one for blogs, where all of our blogs will go. We've created one for email, and so on and so on, podcasts. And so this is where everything ultimately lives, and then it's kept nice and neat and clean inside the calendar. So I'm, guess, I'm just going to go and create one for us here really quickly. So I'm going to create, um, I'm not going to use a template. I'm just going to create one from scratch. We're going to call it master calendar and it's going to be a calendar obviously there we go and maybe we're going to have some sections in it so let me just go to list view for a second it's at our first section so we'll call it um i don't know let's just call it instagram keep it simple facebook actually you know what i'm gonna do social i'm gonna do podcast um, and we're gonna do print, let's say. All right, so we have our three sections in the, the master calendar where we're gonna multi-home our different um, projects to or different tasks to. So there it is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and create another project and we're gonna call this one, what did we say? Um, print, we're gonna make it a list for now and I'm gonna create another one and I'm gonna call it um podcast i'll just do the two for now there we go so now we have 
Yep, start, there we go, perfect. So now we have our three projects. We've got our master calendar. I'll just color all these lime green so they stand out for us. So you can see exactly what we're doing. Actually, I'll make them different colors. In master calendar, we'll keep this one pink. There we go. Okay, so our master calendar is there. We've got our sections. We already know what we're doing. So print, this is really simple. So now it doesn't really matter how you're spending your time or how you're organizing your projects, I should say. Um, we're gonna create a backlog, and this one's gonna be to-do, um, in progress, and done. There we go. We're also gonna create um, something by which we're going to determine like what, what media type it is, or what channel it is, sorry. So I'm gonna go in here. Let me see if I have a channel type. There we go. Let's actually see what it looks like. I haven't used this one in a long time. Perfect. So I don't think we have anything for print or do we? Let me just add one in. Maybe I have one already and I can't see it. And then do we have one for podcast? Yeah, we do. Perfect. That's all we need. Great. So now I've added this um, to our channel. We're going to add in some tasks. Task one, task two, task three. All right. So with all of these, we're gonna give them due dates because in order for them to show up on the calendar, they have to have a due date, right? So we're just gonna, you know, cascade those and really matter what they look like. And then for the channel, I'm gonna set these all to, um, what did we say? This is print, of course. So I'm gonna set it to print right there, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create our rule for this, all right? So I'm gonna go in and create my custom rule and I'm gonna say that when tasks are moved to this section, in the backlog so even if they're added to this project we can also do that right make sure we have any of these triggers when a task is added here through whatever means it doesn't really matter um, this is what's going to happen so now we're going to set the actions of moving it to the backlog like so what else are we going to do we're going to set the channel to where are we we're in the print and then we're also going to add this to another project right there. So we're going to put this in, what did we call it? Master calendar. There it is. And we're going to put it under the print section. So now any tasks that we have, let's add task four. We're going to go like, so there we go. It automatically adds it to print and there we go. It's already in our master calendar and we can see it right. Where is it? What date are we on? Oh, silly mistake. I didn't add a due date to task four. Don't do what I just did. There we go. Now it's on for the eighth. We're going to go to master calendar. There we go. So now we can see that it's green because it corresponds with our, our project there. If we wanted to, we could change it so that it corresponds to one of the custom fields. So we'd actually have to have that custom field in here. Why don't we just pull it in? for fun. There we go. So now this custom field is actually in this project as well. And then we can change the color to be by the custom field. And if you remember our print, it's not colored, it's grayed out. So that's why it's showing up um, in this view as white. But let's just keep it to the Asana default, which is the project. Now let's go over to our podcast. We'll do the exact same thing. Backlog um, to do in progress and done. We'll do the same thing. Task one, task two. All right, so first I wanna bring in my custom field. I'm just gonna do it one more time, again, really quickly here for you. Bring in my channel, there we are. And then I'm going to set some due dates for these guys right here. So that one's for the 13th and this one is the 16th, great. We're gonna set both channels two you guessed it uh where is it it's podcast there we go and now we have to create our rule right so again you do this once and anything that comes in here afterwards is already done for you so um again you could just keep it as task is moved to this so i actually like that better but for us our podcast um all the information and tasks are created via a form that our guest submits as an example. So instead of the task moving to the section, we'd have the trigger, a task added to this project, right? So we would have, um, this would be called podcast 
submissions in this case because I'm using a form to get them in here. And the actions that I want this to take now is I want this to set the channel automatically, the podcast. I want to move it to the section backlog. And then I want to add it to another project as well. So we're going to add it to, what did we call it? Just podcast. Um, sorry, <laughs> writing it to master calendar. There we go. And we're going to put it under the podcast section. So now we're going to create this rule and I'm going to go like this task three. Let's see what happens. There you go. It automatically set it to podcast, which means that it's automatically been put in the master calendar section, but it doesn't have a date yet. So it's not going to show up. So there we go. Now let's go back to our master calendar and now we can see it. We have our our task four, which is our print task. And then we have um, our task three, which is our podcast. So that's how we keep everything organized inside of our master calendar for all of our production and marketing material. Um, we can even take this a step further. Like if I switch over here to my main space, we have a master calendar um, that isn't the marketing calendar. It's a master calendar for all, you know, key dates. So when people are taking vacation, um, when, you know, birthdays are, when holidays come up, we track it all here as well. So we can see in one view who's away, who's here, what holidays there are, whose birthday it is, you know, who's taking time off and so on and so on. So I really hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know. And if you got any value from this, please subscribe to the channel. Um, it is only by people like you watching, commenting, liking, and sharing that this channel can grow. So thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.